okay guys so as you can see by the title of this video we've got the STS ST15 a fantastic lock and as you can see it's got a patented key there and of course as soon as you see the key just have a look at that we've got 15 pins I believe five on one side five on the other side and then five on the other side as well which is actually got an interactive element as well which I can show you in very shortly as you can also see by the bitting we've got highs and lows right the way through the lock so a very very tricky lock to uh, pick and of course this was very kindly sent to me by the awesome the talented Mr Talon pick mucho gracias Talon pick I really do appreciate this lock and of course everything else you sent over to me as you can see by the uh, bottom side of this lock obviously you can see where the pins could go there and of course you can see this interactive element there as well now what I will do is just get the torch so I can actually shine that into the actual uh, lock body itself there let's just get this around the right way for you um, so of course what you can see you can see the two rows of pins there and of course on the bottom side there you can see the uh, little pins there on the center of the uh, lock there as well which obviously are situated there now I believe that those center pins are actually passive pins so I don't think they need to come into play but of course if we do put too much pressure on them they will probably bind the lock up because of course we've got to get right the way through the center of that that uh, two rows of pins to actually set this interactive element and then of course we've got to work our way through to actually get these uh, pins set as well so a very very tricky lock to pick obviously an awful lot of components again so it's definitely going to be a fun one to pick and also to take apart now to take it apart obviously I just need to remove these four pins and hopefully this will come into two um, which means of course once we get it picked I can take it apart and show you all the pins inside so what I'm going to do I'm just going to break away get these uh, pins out and then of course we'll get it in the vise and get it picked okay guys as you can see I've just removed these uh, two pins there so we can now actually slide that part off and uh, you can see the cap there for the uh, two banks of pins um, and of course we're ready to uh, put this into the vise let's just get that mounted there okay I will just quickly show you the locks working flawlessly and of course we will take it apart once it's been picked okay so two tensioners required this time um, we're just going to put a little tension in the tops in the uh, side there um, and then I'm just going to get a shallow hook from the sparrow set which we're going to slide in through the two sets of pins and then just get to the end of the lock and then we can just fill that little ridge there which is the check pin which should be about there and then we can just get that set just like that okay so that's the check pin set now we're just going to go for the left side first I'm just going to go in with a flat flag from the uh, multi pick set nothing on one two is binding a little click out of two so this is quite a tricky lock to pick actually obviously with uh, the amount of uh, elements in there you'd expect that I suppose Let's click out of five nice little click out of five that time nothing out of one nice little click out of two three feels fine four is binding now a little click out of four just going back through nothing on one just touch two again and it drops us into a slightly deeper full set so I think the left sides are picked now just gonna get this little side tension wrench in there so I'm just gonna hold that there and then just get that out of there so now we're going to go through the right uh, bank once again with the same flat flag nothing out of one a little click out of two nothing out of three nothing out of four binds binding tightly okay just slipped off five nice little click out of five coming back to the front nothing out of one two feels fine three feels fine nothing out of four nothing out of five let's go back to the front again one's definitely set just got to click out of two three feels fine four is binding just going to set four now putting pressure on four four is binding tightly just slipped off four one two three we're just going to release the tension slightly and of course we just get this open so not actually too bad at all there do what we do we'll uh, take it apart and see what's inside I'm actually quite curious about this one I said I haven't actually taken this apart yet so it's all new to me as well let me just put that there 
get the pin tray over, put that there. Let's just change this camera angle slightly. That's good. Okay, what I will do is speed this part up and then we can have a good discussion about the pins afterwards. Okay, as you can see, a very, very complex lock. Um, what I've done is put the left side uh, key pins on the bottom there, the right side on the top, left side drivers on the um, uh, this level here on level three, and then of course the right side on the top there. Obviously all of the springs there are the same, so I've just dumped them out. There's one that's got stuck, as you can see there, um, which is not worth just sort of ruining that to get it out. The check pin, as you can see, are the, uh, the bottom side there, is obviously you just sort of, uh, stays actually in the actual um, Bible there in the actual uh, lock itself as you can see it is sprung loaded um, and then of course you've got these uh, passive pins there which didn't come into play for the uh, picking of the lock um, let me just get a nice clear view but as you can see they're all six are in there and they're all sprung loaded as well so I think they're just kind of set and then if you uh, sort of touch them it kind of oversets them so a very very complex lock um, and you actually look at the um, the actual uh, drivers here, we'll have a look at this one here. Obviously it's got a spool um, or a t torpedo style there, but it's actually uh, shaped as well, obviously with the uh, um, the actual uh, shape of the core there. So of course the actual pins are shaped as well. So it's definitely gonna be a tricky one to put back together. These are the uh, passive pins, which are in the uh, the bottom there, um, like little torpedo shaped ones there. And of course this one here is actually the uh, little check pin. Uh, which we were looking forward to uh, start the actual picking process off. This little sidebar here, um, I don't know what it's exactly for, but it just kind of fits in there nicely. Um, we, let's just sort of start getting that around rather than throw it around. Um, obviously just fits in there like that, um, as you can see there to uh, finish off the actual um, core itself there. So a very, very intricate lock. Um, a real fun one to pick and uh, once to say once you actually learn uh, that the check pin goes first then obviously just to apply pressure to the actual uh, key pins it's quite straightforward to open and as you can see it didn't take too long at all but a fantastic lock um, the SDS ST15 uh, very kindly sent to me by the awesome Mr. Talampic so mucho gracias Talampic listen guys thanks ever so much for your time on this very very complex lock and of course have a great day I'll catch up with you soon Thanks guys.